Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, welcome to a shared universe podcast studio. Uh, this is Ming Chen. So I uh, I am heading to my first convention of the year this weekend. You can see on the big smile on my face, I'm very excited. Uh, I have not been to a convention, Comic Con, in well over a year. It's been it's it it. I mean, to be quite frank with you, it sucks not going, not traveling not going to comic cons and um you know on the name of public safety they uh they were all either canceled or postponed and um it uh it stunk i love traveling i love adventure i love going to comic cons and there were none last year and uh all the big ones all the small ones gone canceled postponed but the uh they're coming back with the vaccinations with uh you know with the numbers Hopefully, with numbers going down in general, in most areas, uh, a lot of them are, are coming back. Um, there's just uh, uh, my my friend uh, Jeremy and Justin just threw one in Huntsville this past week and looked like it went great. So looks like everyone had a great time. Everyone was safe, and um, everyone you know it, it, it looked like uh, you know just the, the cons of old, pretty much, except for the. Um, you know, the masks and the distancing and all of that. So I'm trying to remember how to how to con again, basically. So uh, so I'm heading to Hannibal, Missouri this weekend, going to a convention called the Big River Comic Con, Comic Convention. Um, it is their second year. I have met the promoters virtually. We did a live stream a couple, uh, like a week and a half ago. And um, we... Um, I'm excited for them. I'm I'm I applaud them for going forward and throwing their second year and um I think they're going to do really well, but I'm going to help them out as well. So when you go to a con uh you need to bring 8x10 photographs. So you have something to sign for the people who want your autograph. And uh and you listen I um I'm not going to lie. It's uh I, I still I even though we I did seven years of comic book men, even though I you know I guess you know I, I've gained some modicum of fame and people watched the TV show that I was on I the whole autograph thing is still somewhat absurd but um, I love doing it and um, you know it's um, Listen, I, I, I once laughed at a, a certain celebrity for charging for autographs, and here I am doing it now. But listen, <laughs> I understand why now. Uh, it's a cool, it's kind of a cool keepsake. I, I'm not in Hannibal, Missouri that often. Actually, I've never been there. And um, so, and I, I don't charge very much. So, um, so if you want one, uh, so with the, you know, you got to bring 8x10s with you. So here they are. You really, you literally, I order them myself. I, I handpick the ones that I think are cool, and um, they're, um, I'm about to unbox them right now, so. <laughs> uh, so I have my official Star Wars unboxing knife here from courtesy of our friends at Artemis Knife Works, Rebel Lion Sheath, and uh, this thing is very, very sharp. I'm going to try not to cut myself as usual, um, so I'm going to show you uh, the ones that I've selected for this weekend, and I think I've ordered enough pretty much for the whole, you know, for hopefully the entire year. But if they, uh, if if I run out, that's good. That means I, I've moved a whole bunch of them. So, uh, so normally I I, uh, I use a pretty cool service called Sharp Prints, SharpPrints.com. If if you ever need eight by tens, you can order one. You can order a hundred. They're they are very very well packed. Uh, you'll see here, they are. Very well padded, shrink wrapped, and I think I ordered somewhere in the neighborhood of 200 here. So, and uh, I just gotta make sure that they look okay, which they always do, but I just gotta make sure they got the right quantities and everything. Um, so, we're gonna open them right up. Let me. Tilt them down here. Hello, hello, Instagram Live. Hello, Facebook. Hello, YouTube. Just, uh, just, uh, like, I can, uh, just so I acknowledge everybody. So everything's like really, really well taped here. It is, they, they wrap this thing like it's, uh, it's, it's, you know, like it's, 
it's like very fragile and it's like a like you're shrink wrapping a bomb and mailing it through the mail but it's not not bomb so all right i got i got two packets here they're like yeah sometimes they do it so well that i was like geez man this is like really for ming chen eight by tens went through all this trouble but i'm glad they glad they did they don't i mean i imagine they don't want them damaged in transit um and what a bummer that would be so um let me see what i got here <laughs> i literally have to rip into these the um it's this is not easy this is how well packed they are so thank you sharp friends you guys are amazing every time i've been ordering from them, i think for the last five or six years ever since i started doing conventions and uh they are they they really really turn out amazing so let me see i'm gonna and i gotta be careful not to cut them too so um all right here we go so we have the uh the class the, th the classic thwack <laughs> version um Little story beyond this one, uh, you know, they did the, the photo shoot. They showed us the prototypes, and the one with my picture, it said Zap on it. And Mike Zapsick looked at it. He was like, whoa, what the hell? Why does he get Zap? I'm Zap. I'm like, yeah, you're right. You should give him Zap. So he, uh, if you look at Mike's, it says Zap. zap. So I got changed to Thwack. So um, little story behind the pose here. Uh, they were like, hey, just, you know, I, I'm like, what do you want me to do? They're like, hey, do uh, you know, do something funny? I'm like, all right, and that's that. That's what it. That's what it became. This is uh, this photo is going to define me for the rest of my life. So, which is fine. I'm I'm totally cool with that. Um, below that one is a classic five shot of us. With uh, this is from season one, and you can tell. This one's this one's interesting because Brian's hair is like I don't even know what's going on with Brian's hair here. It's uh it's it's I have no idea. He's got like this weird like mushroom haircut, and um yeah I mean to be fair he was on drugs he was on drugs when this was taken so um I can't I, you know I can't fault him for that. Well I can. I can fault him for the haircut. I mean, at least he didn't change his hair color eight times like Mike Zapsick did in uh, like in <laughs> one season. Uh, this one's always a very popular one, big seller. This is the uh, us and Stan Lee with Stan Lee jumping on the uh, the counter. This is from season two. And uh, this one's a big seller as well. This one's very classic. Uh, I have this one up on the wall here at the studio. Like this is, this is the one that you, this is the one I'll show to my grandkids. Like, dude, or dudes or dudettes or you know I'll, I'll probably have you know male and female grandkids is like dude look see how cool i was i got to hang out with stan lee so um so that one will be available for sale that that one's a big sell i usually get a pretty big quantity of that one so i'll slip that one back in there so that's that's pack number one um what else do i have here the uh rip i'll tear into this second one so, uh, yeah, cause I, I could not remember how many I had left when we stopped doing conventions last year. So I just, I just re, I did a full reorder here and let me see if there's anything fun in here. These should be some good ones. I'm really just going to make sure I don't cut into them. So I got more, like I, uh, more thwax over here, uh, underneath I have, uh, this is a pretty cool one. Uh, this is a five shot of us at the podcast table. Pretty sweet. <laughs> this one is, I want to say it's from season five or six. So we're looking, we're looking pretty cool here. Pretty sweet. Uh, of course, this is before Kevin lost, uh, you know, a, a majority of his weight. So this is, uh, this is pre, this is, this is, this is, uh, this is even pre heart attack. So um that's a pretty cool one and then i think i got one more under here which or do i oh yeah i got one more here this is uh the uh ming chen at the podcast table <laughs> kind of like uh right now it's, uh you know not much different actually i'm i'm uh i'm thinner in this one dang it i gotta get back, <laughs> back to that freaking covid man that's um close enough though that was a, a young 
Ming Chen ready to take on the world right there. So that's what I got there. I'm also uh, I was looking through the ones I still had left, and I'll bring be bringing these down. Uh, this is a classic one of uh, me with a bunch of comics at the stash. That one's pretty sweet. Um, and I'm not you know I'm just I'm not just saying that because it's because uh, it's me. I th um, there should be some of these in the, that pile. Uh, this is like probably my favorite picture of all time. Where it's um, me and Stanley back to back. This one's taken by a really really great photographer called Al uh, named Alan Amato. He is cool. I thought I ordered more some of those too. Those should be in the pile here. If not, I'm gonna have to order some more. Um, and then let's see. I got I got a couple of these left for the weekend. It's uh, us and I guess cosplay, <laughs> cosplay us, and then. I'm running low on these. These have these these have been somewhat popular. I, geez, I don't have a lot of these left. But uh, the Ming Chen Speedo picture, everybody, the classic Mr. T's Water War from season three. The uh, that one's. I'm running low on those. I mean, understandably so. So uh, <laughs> you know, what what are you gonna do? That's uh, it, it, people like what they like, right? So, anyways. Uh, that's there. <laughs> Nick Ashford. Oh my God. Yeah, that's everybody's reaction. Theodore Reed, do you sell the photos with autographs on them? Yes, I do. Um, if you go to a sharedUniverse.com, it's the uh, it's uh, right here under my name or with my name. Um, I have a couple on sale that uh, we can ship to you as well if you want to mail order them. Um, very cheap. I think I have them. They're very very reasonably priced. So. Um, James Packer, that's an awesome Stan Lee photo. It, I mean, you can't, you can't get, you can't get, you can't get better at that. So James Parker needs one of the Speedo pictures for a friend, of course, for a friend, for a friend. Um, Timmy Hill, what's up? Still following the New Jersey Devils? Uh, good times at the Rock. Timmy Hill, who I uh, um, often talked about on the Tell Him Steve Dave podcast, but uh, Tim and I used to go to Devils games years. Jeez, we're going on 10 years now, Tim. Tim, I hear you're in Florida, which is cool. I'm still following the Devils. They're hard to follow right now, though. Let's be honest. Uh, they look, uh, they don't look so great. They're, they're in rebuilding mode. It's tough to watch. It's very tough to watch. So, Bill McCastle and, uh, yeah, they do look great. I'd love to have one of each. Um, I'll we'll, I'll work on that. I got a couple of them, like you know, I sell them signed on a sharedUniverse.com, but I guess I need to get all of them on there if, uh, <laughs> if you love those. So, do you know when Kevin's gonna release pictures of the uh, Master of the Universe revelation? I have no idea. I Kevin's on his own schedule, man. I have no idea what, what I I I mean, I only know what he's up to on like you guys do on Twitter. So that um. Yeah, Tony Larson got his signed pictures at Astronomicon. Astronomicon 4 coming up in August. Ann Arbor, Michigan. So get ready. The uh, Will will you see Ming Chen there? Uh, stay tuned, everybody. Uh, dude, those are rad. Remy Smith, thank you very much. They did come out very well. They did come out uh, really, really well. So... Um, so Boogie Robertson, uh, if you're come, are you are you coming to Big River Con? How much for an audio? I usually charge twenty bucks. Like everyone's got twenty dollars on them, right? That and that's like, that might be a couple beers. So, <laughs> yeah, everything's like twenty bucks. So uh, James Parker, my uh, my eight year old son Michael is a huge fan. Wanted me to tell you hi, hi Michael. What's going on? I know another Michael. You're cooler than him, uh, Michael Parker. <laughs> Good. Tom Aiello, what's up? How much for the one of you and Stanley? I want to get one for my fiance. She's going to be 37. 37 on May the 4th. Uh, I think I have them online for like 15 or 20 bucks. I can't remember what I priced them at, but go to sharedunivers.com. We will check it out. And uh, Theodore Reed, thanks for answering my question. I met you guys a few years ago in San Antonio. I'm trying to get back to San Antonio, Theodore. Stay tuned. I'm hearing something might be brewing in that area. So. I'm hearing. Stay tuned. Scott Hoverman. I'd buy that for a dollar. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Robocop. Thank you, Robocop. So, um, all right. Somebody has a speedo. Oh, Nick, Nick Ashford has uh, the, <laughs> Amy Tucci. 
wants a speedo one. I'm running low. I gotta order more, my friend. I know. I know. I gotta. I get more. So get shout out to Nick in Burnside Skate Park. <laughs> Dustin Covington, what's going on? I have a real strong feeling there will be no kind in Buffalo until 2025. We will see. Uh, Tim Hill, have fun at the con. Thanks, Tim. Tim, I got to come down to wherever you are. Um, we miss seeing you up here. I heard your name on the <laughs> I heard Walt say your name on the Tell Him Steve Dave podcast the other day. I cannot remember what it was in reference to. Uh, so, all right. So that's uh, that's what I got going on here. Um, I think my, my, if you're on Instagram, my phone just, okay, there we go. Anyways, those are the, uh, those are the eight by tens. If you're, I'm coming into Missouri. Everyone, someone was like, Mink's going to Missouri. I'm coming into Missouri. So hopefully I will see you there. And, um, I will update you on my convention schedule. It's starting. The calls are starting to come in again. I am coming. I'm coming to a place near you. For sure. But I thought I'd, I'd just show you the 8x10s. thought it would be fun. Thank you, Short Prince, for the very fast shipping, the reasonable prices, and for, you know, just just being great. Just big shout-out to them. So, all right. Have a great night, everybody. I will, uh, I will see you guys soon.